Hi friends, this is Daniel Research and welcome to the part number 4 of Cryptocurrency Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video series I'll show you how to create your own cryptocurrency arbitrage bot. Today we continue implementation of the market data receiver, the first component of the event loop. In the previous part we have completed implementation of market data receiver for Bitfinex and today we have two tasks to accomplish. The first one is implementation of market data receiver for Polonix and the second one to pull both receivers together. Well, Polonix implementation of market data receiver will be at some extent similar to Bitfinex part, so I highly recommend you to watch previous video if you didn't, in order to better understand context of this part. Unfortunately, Polonix has no official JavaScript library that may let us to work with WebSockets. But I have found some custom-made Polonix older book library that serves this purpose pretty well. Polonix has some stupid limitations that was introduced last summer. In August 2017, they added anti-bot protection for their website and API connections. And for some reason, all requests that are coming from my home network are rejected. In the description to this library, you may find some workaround how to handle this limitation. But instead of using this workaround, I will use external service where I will deploy my bot for testing purposes. This library is very simple and easy to use. Well, in order to initialize it, we may simply copy this code snippet and paste it. So, firstly we need to install Polonix order book library, of course. Here we create a Polo manager object. So, this row is about workaround, so because we will not need work around. I'll keep it empty. This row is responsible for error handling. And here we get order book data. So let's test this example. Firstly, let's save. Import polo-trade.js into app.js. So let's simply copy and paste this row. Rename constant Polo trade, Polo trade, and let's install Polonix order book library. npm install minus minus save Polonix Polonix order book library is installed and we are ready to test it. I'll deploy bot to zite.co, which is hosting provider for Node.js applications, and they have free sandbox for sandbox for testing purposes. So deploying, and we'll see in logs top five rows from the Polonix order book for Ethereum to Bitcoin pair. Here they are. Here we have asks, price, amount, and bids as well. Price and amount. So now we need to work with code a little bit to use this asks and bid in polotrade.js in the same manner that we did with Bitfinex trade.js. I have changed it names of some variables, polo and polo, and now we can create polo trade object. It will look in the same way as Bitfinex, so polo trade, and will contain following properties. The first one is pairs, which is empty array, as in case of Bitfinex order book, which is empty object and two functions. The first one is init pairs, 
this function and as it has only one parameter pairs array and the second function is get orders get orders function with no parameters well yes and finally let's export this object module module exports equals to all trade exports well now let's work with these two functions like we did with bitfinex firstly we need to assign pairs array to pairs so this pairs equals to pairs array the second scene we need to create order book object so let's loop through pairs array for pair of pairs array this order book we create in key pair equals to object which contains information about bits bits which comprises of price value by default it is zero and amount value amount which is also zero and we have another object asks asks which also contains price zero and amount which is also zero now let's subscribe to channels for every pair we plan to arbitrage on Polonix. we can do this inside of this for loop and this is very simple so we can copy this row actually cut it and paste it here and replace this pair name with pair value so we have just created init pairs function which initializes pairs object creates order book structure and subscribes to channels where we listen order book data and the last thing we need to do with polotrade.js is to implement get orders function this function will fill order book object with price and amount values for bids and asks. To do this, let's copy this part of code. And I think there is something interesting and helpful inside this info object. So let's console log it to see how it may be helpful for us. Console log info. And let's hit save and implement Polotrade GS inside app.js. Firstly, we need to create a separate array for polo pairs because they have different wording for tickers. Polo. And instead of Ethereum to Bitcoin, we should type BTC to ETH. BTC. To XRP and BTC to LTC and you can simply copy and paste this part and instead of BFX type polo polo pairs polo for now let's 
comment BTC part and hit save and deploy it. Let's go type now. Okay. Let's wait for completion of deployment. Let's look at the output. Info object contains key site which can have two values, bids or asks, rate which is actual price in, but it is in strings, and amount, amount also string, and channel which is pair name. So it is Ethereum to Bitcoin, Zcash to Bitcoin and so on. Or we can use these keys of info object to fill order book object. This nice output makes our work much simpler. So in order to fill order book object, just we need to create a self variable which equals to this and self order book. Here we need to provide pair name which is accessible by info channel. The next element we need to provide bids or asks, which is info side. Next price equals to info rate. Here we need to also provide quotes, but uh, because rate is in string, so we need to parse float it. Parse float. And do the same for amount. Copy paste and amount equals to info amount. This is it. So we can save it and console log order book in order to check whether we made everything correctly. Hit save and deploy. Great, here is order book object for Polonix. We have three pairs, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin against Bitcoin, bids and asks for each pair and price and amount values. So now we have to pull everything together. Instead of having two separate objects, be fixed rate and Bitfine and Polo trade, we'll create array of exchanges. Like here, const exchanges. And inside of this array we'll put Bitfinex and Polonix objects. So array element with index 0 is Bitfinex object, array element with index 1 is Polonix object. This solution gives us opportunity to scale up to many exchanges, so you can add as many exchanges into this array as you need. So we do not need any more these constants and now we need to initialize objects inside array. This would be done manually because we have different tickers naming so we can do this like here init pairs so for Bitfinex it would be bfx pairs and for Polonix it would be polar pairs polar pairs and now we can get orders let's iterate through exchanges array for exchange of exchanges exchange get orders. In case you have three, four or five exchanges or even more, it would be it will work in the same way. 
and in order to check that everything is correct let's add some time out for instance 15 seconds and console log define x order book console log exchange zero order book let's clean up code hit save and deploy and it works here is bitfinex order book this solution with exchanges array allows us to get access to order book data at any time we need and for every exchange we plan to arbitrage finally we have completed all tasks we need to implement market data receiver we have implemented receiver for Bitfinex, for Polonix, and created exchanges array to get access to order book data. So let's move all tasks into done tab. And in the next video, we will continue implementation of arbitrage bot. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!